Well, I got away this last weekend to my daughter's graduation in Montana. Kelly Joy Glenn, Honor Scholar, Cum Laude, Los Gatos, California. Needless to say, I'm a really proud father, and my daughter is going to go off to become a nurse. While we were there, we did something that's probably not politically correct. We brought a little bit of California with us and broadcast a few wildflower seeds in sort of a native garden that they have out there. Hope we didn't screw things up too bad. I'm sure the gardeners will clear out anything that do doesn't belong, but it felt uh, symbolic. So we brought a few seeds in there and cast them around maybe some flowers will come up this next year I don't know but it just it felt uh, it felt kind of uh, like a final step in this whole graduation process but the trees on this campus are pretty amazing the, the campus is about 120 years old and I wanted to show this big cottonwood tree uh, it was uh, just magnificent a lot of people get their pictures taken up in this this tree and all the nurses did but uh, the purpose of this video really is to talk about the diversity of trees in different areas. So if you look back in my videos, I, I'll, I'll post a link to the, uh, the video of the trees in Montana. Um, this is coming back to our area and I'm flying in from the east side and this is actually the drier part of Silicon Valley. You can see the east foothills over there, they're already turning brown. But look at the number of trees. In the residential areas, almost every house has a tree or more than one tree. And you can see the green belts and the, the golf courses and the parklands. I did play with the, uh, um, the contrast a little bit on the video to make it pop out a little bit more so you can see the green a little better. And you can see there's a lot of areas that are very industrial and, and are completely devoid of trees. It's all asphalt and, you know, it's, it's all paved over, like that Joni Mitchell song. But uh, anyway, what I wanted to talk about a little bit is, is the change in our valley. Because if you go back just a hundred years ago, this entire valley was almost entirely fruit trees. It was, it was a vast area of food production. So we have a, a fairly expansive water table that allowed for um, production of, of fruit. And, and it's kind of sad because the soil out here is amazing. So what we did is we took some of the most fertile growing grounds in the, the world, with the best climate in the world, with, with lots of water, and what we do, we paved over it and made it into residential area. So there's hardly any orchards left, with the exception of a few backyard orchards. And, and there's, there's a few little tiny plots, but I, I think the largest orchard that I can find anywhere in this area is, is just a few acres now. And that's sad. But we have such a huge diversity of trees in our area. We have hundreds of different species because of our, our, our lack of snow and our lack of extreme cold and our Mediterranean climate, we're able to bring in, you know, just vast numbers, you know, so you can, you can see there's a few green belts that have been left in, there's, you can see where some of the creeks are, you can see some of the homeless encampments down there. Now we're getting a little bit closer to the, the airport, and uh, we've got our fair share of traffic here in Silicon Valley. Well, um, I, I hope you get a chance to go back and view the, the Montana video that I will post a link to because in Montana they've really only got about 10 species of tree that I could find with, with the occasional oddball. Back home, my wife and daughter are driving with all of her stuff. I think we got the easy way out. My son and I flew back. Well, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this brief little trip to Montana and back.